I'm joined by Mr. Greg Bell, formerly of Bonita Vista fame and currently an outgoing member of the Arizona Western Matadors, right? Yeah, in Yumo, right? We'll right. talk more about that. Uh, you, is it fair to say you are one of the most sought after Juco running backs in the country? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, all the hard work I put in. Uh, and it's paying off now. I saw a rating of fourth in the nation right. because you are how fast in the 40? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I ain't ran a 40 in a long time, but I'm, pretty fast. So in the mid fours, yeah. now tipping the scales at what looks to me like 200 pounds, which right. means basically you're a downhill bowling ball hard to tackle. Right, right. A hard running kid. Uh, when we last saw you locally, I think we have some video, you were posting a 2,000 yard season right. for the Barons. Right. Uh, piling up yard after yard. Does that seem like a long time ago? Uh, yeah, it does. I miss those days playing with those guys. And you also played for Coach Chris Thompson. Right. Talk to about what it was like to play for Coach <clears throat> Thompson. Uh, Coach Thompson, the first day I walked into his office, you know, he told me, do I want to be a college football player? And I said, yeah. And then he said he was going to push me to the limits, and that's what he did. And uh, he helped me grow as a man and as a football player. And he's a big part of the reason why you're sitting here about to make a big announcement. Right. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a bit. You went the JUCO route. For the kids who uh, also might uh, follow in your footsteps, talk about the benefits of being prepped for college at uh, JUCO. Uh, JUCO is a good route to go for me and everybody, I think. Uh, it prepares you on the field and off the field, uh, get the grades right and stuff like that. And then it's just a grind every day. So. If you don't have the grades at a high school, you should go Juco. We have some video of you running for the Matadors. T tell us about uh, what the Matador offense was like and what it was like to be a Matador. Uh, it was great being the Matador. Uh, the whole coaching staff believed in me since day one, and they just gave me the ball and let me do what I could do. And O-line blocked, and I just did what I did. As I mentioned, Arizona Western is in Yuma. Right. What was life like, <laughs> don't laugh. What we got? Tell us what life is like in at Yuma at Arizona Western. A, a lot of kids go there from our right. area. Yeah, uh, life is good. It's pretty boring, but like, if you want to get out, then I, I think you should go there. It's a great school, great program, uh, great coaches, Coach Minnick, Miss Minnick. They help kids a lot. I'm curious, why there as a, over Southwestern? Uh, Southwestern is a good program as well, but I think Arizona Western has more uh, exposure. More, and so you were making a football decision there. Right. All right. So. Uh, I don't know the answer to this question. I, I see two hats here. I know there should be a third hat, but uh, uh, somehow we lost the Boise State hat. So there's right. three. So you, you started with, how many offers did you currently, do you have? Uh, I have 13 right now. 13 offers, and you, picture a Boise State hat here, right? Yeah. So it better not be them, because, uh, <laughs> all right, so everyone's watching. I, I, I know Dave Davis is hoping it's going to be this one, because he, <laughs> for some reason, has got an affiliate. Can we go split screen, because we have friends and family in studio. And uh, I'm going to uh, tell you to look at that camera right there. All right. I suspect we're about to have a volume eruption, so audio board, be prepared. Uh, Greg, look into that camera and tell the world where you're going to be playing your college football. Uh, first of all, I want to thank God for putting me in this opportunity to go play Major D1 football. Second, I want to thank my mom uh, for always believing in me, my uncle for always believing in me, and then Coach Thompson for always believing in me. Uh, but for the next two years, I'll be going to the University of Nebraska. The, U <laughs> the University of Nebraska. Uh, uh, talk about, now were you recruited by the old administration or? Uh, uh, no, Coach Frost uh, recruited me. I didn't get the offer from uh, the old administration, but they came after me when they got there. I've been driving through Nebraska. You're, it's corn, 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 and suddenly there's this oasis, this beautiful campus. Tell us about what it was like to be in Lincoln, Nebraska. <clears throat> uh, it was good. It was cold, but I felt like it was a family out there, and I felt like Coach Frost has, has something special going on up there. So, uh, so you're going to be in the uh, Big Ten? Right, most uh, definitely. You're going to be playing against Wisconsin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, talk about... You've experienced the recruiting process a couple times. Right. This is how how was it different the second time around? Uh, a lot of schools they go after high school players first, so uh, junior college guys are like the second option. But uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I just worked hard and got worked my butt off, and it paid off. Yeah, you, you certainly did. I, just out of curiosity, because I have to ask, being <laughs> a, a San Diego guy, San Diego State guy or a fan of the program. Right. Did uh, San Diego, I know initially you were going to be an Aztec. Right. Uh, that didn't work out. Did the Aztecs ever crop back up into the conversation or was that just uh, dead on the doorstep? Uh, they mm -hmm. offered me. Uh, I thought about them a lot, but it just didn't work out that way, so it didn't happen. 
All right, so you're going to uh, Lincoln. Uh, you have to get used to cold, cold weather, <laughs> being away from home. But I guess Yuma's already prepped you for that, right? Uh, yeah, it did. Uh, Yuma's two hours away from here, so I'm used to being away from home. Uh, I, it means a lot to us that you would come back and uh, honor us with this announcement. Yeah, I definitely. bet you made a lot of people uh, in, you know, Nebraska, the Cornhusker Nation is wanting to see the program get turned around, and they hope you're going to be a big part of that. Right. Uh, I just hope to get in there, work my butt off, and get a starting job and help them win a national championship. Uh, young man, what a class act for you to come do this. Thank you. Coach Thompson, thank you very much for making it happen. Uh, we will have continuing signing day coverage. Uh, it is now 16. You, does the name Carson uh, Baker mean anything to you? Oh, yeah, I know who that is. I work out with him. Yeah, uh, Carson has uh, decided that he's going to be playing at San Diego State. We're going to be talking about all that. Come your way tonight on the All Sports Sport and from Castero when we bring our newscast down to the barge. But I'm done for now. We go to these important commercial words. See ya.